to the Friday Night Frenzy. We did have some really good hockey action there. We mentioned all the schedule changes. They definitely impacted Class B schools the most, but it didn't stop a matchup of top two boys basketball programs in the state. Yeah, that's right. Shiloh Christian and Beulah both sitting right on the edge of the top ten rankings, both winners of back-to-back -back games. But something has to give tonight. Skyhawks leading in the second quarter. Kyler Klein taking the ball outside, sees the space, drives right to the rim for two. Shiloh up by double digits, but Beulah had some fight tonight right before the half. Nice pass to be cutting Trace Bocamp, who pumps and able to draw the foul, completes the and one play. The second half now, Miner is trying to stay in, swinging it to the corner for Jack Koppelsloan, a big three for Beulah. Shiloh always had an answer. Mabahi Baker stepping through three defenders, rolls it in for the nice lay, and Shiloh Christian with a big home win, 76-68. Let's go to the college level now. U Mary's women sitting at an even 500, hosting Wayne State tonight. In the third quarter, Marauders trying to bust out of a cold spell. Reese Wishart putting in the work underneath, gets the and one basket. Two of 14 on the night for her. On the other side, Wayne State putting on the pressure. Closing the gap quick. This three from Lauren Zacharias helping them out. But here's a key turning point in the game. Ball movement huge by the Marauders. Going to one of two straight three-pointers from Julia Fitterer. The Marauders stay perfect at home, 72-60. to 60. Earlier in the night, the men on the court as well. The Wildcats um, going with the layup here on a fast break. But it's blocked on the other end. And Marauders moving it down the court. Jacob Jackson to David's Adelbowers for two. You marry off and running. Kai Hunsbury bringing the ball down the court, looking for a pass, decides to take the shot himself with the defender in his face. Easy three for Hugh Mary. Hunsbury's back again, trying to break the Wildcats defense. A Trayton Matter three there gives him the assist. Marauders by nine, but the second half lows for the men leads to a seven point loss. So the Marauders with mixed feelings tonight, but it wasn't the only Northern Sun action. And for that, we go to Caressa and Adina up in Minor. Thanks, guys. Kind of a quiet night up here in the Magic City with all the scheduled changes, but we weren't going to miss out on the little action we did have. That's right, Chris. So we had a top four matchup on the ice in the Junior League. But first, we start with some college hoops. Minot State ladies hosting the Augustana Vikings. We pick this one up in the first quarter. Augustana's Jennifer Odlin with the steal. She's going to take it all the way down for an easy layup, and that ties it up. The Beavers are actually back on the court for the first time in nearly a month. Lucy Chapman's three doesn't miss a beat, and the Beavers take the lead. Vikings with a four-game win streak heading into tonight, looking for number five. The rebound, no look pass to Cameron Hay, and her deep two shot is good. They trail by one now. Time winding down in the first. Minox Amber Stevan with the buzzer beater to make this a two-point game. The Vikings win five in a row. And heading to the ice, the Minot Minotauros back at home for the first time in 2022, hosting the North Iowa Bulls. First period tied at zero. Toros with the pressure. Cole Mickel with the long shot. He gets it past the goalie, and Minot scores first tonight. Toros now with the power play, past to Colby Joseph, and he finds the back of the net, extending the Toros lead two to zero. Bulls now pushing up the ice shot, but Austin Zavoda makes the diving save, keeping the lead at two. Possible top play for this week. And Minot adds two more in the third to win four to one. That wraps up tonight's highlights with an exciting start to the 2022 Frenzy. But we aren't done just yet. Still ahead, Frenzy. On Frenzy, Luke and Phil share their weekly takeaways and a look ahead at next week's games. But first, a look at scores from around the region.